Discouragement and doubt can hinder what we hope to achieve. What concrete action can help us get beyond our fears? Ezekiel's call involved eating a scroll that sweetened the bitter taste of his mission and receiving from God extra strength and protection for the challenges that lay ahead. Today's key verse reads, Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, all my words that I shall speak unto thee receive in thine heart and hear with thine ears, and go get thee to them of the captivity unto the children of thy people, and speak unto them, and tell them, Thus saith the Lord God, whether they will hear, or whether they will forbear. Ezekiel chapter 3, verses 10 and 11. Ezekiel's name meant, God is my strength. He was a Zadokite priest, the son of a priest named Buzi. Ezekiel lived in Jerusalem before being taken captive to Babylon, where he lived near the Kabar River during the fifth year of King Jehoiakim's captivity. He was given a message and vision of God's magnificence and power to fortify him to preach the word to the first Jewish exiles relocated in Babylon, where they would spend 70 years in slavery. He also prophesied warnings of judgment to surrounding enemy nations. Eating the word of God is an occurrence found in Ezekiel and in the New Testament book of Revelation, as John is called to eat the book that was in the hands of the angel. Those chosen to eat the word were also chosen because of their faithfulness to deliver God's message no matter the opposition. This sanctified son of man would often be discouraged and frustrated, just like any other human being. His ministry would be tested by doubt, frustrations, and rejection. In the midst of all this, God would strengthen him, and only as a God-strengthened mortal would he be able to face Israel. The acceptable response to a divine message and vision is obedience. Ezekiel did two things. He opened his mouth and he ate the scroll. Now that Ezekiel proves faithful and allowed the Lord to prepare him, he was given his assignment to speak. By eating the scroll, Ezekiel becomes one with the words on the scroll. In doing so, he symbolically takes into his inner being the fate of his people. Ezekiel is more than just the messenger detached from his assignment. He has now become the message. Right after Ezekiel had eaten the word of God, tasted its sweetness, been filled with the Spirit, and personally seen God's glory, God commanded him to go right away and tell the people of Judah the consequences of their sin. Ezekiel was able to do this because he had first submitted to the word of God and yielded his heart. He was equipped to boldly go and tell his fellow Israelites what God said. God made Ezekiel adamant, or hard as a diamond. As Ezekiel's name suggests, God strengthened him and made his heart harder than flint. He had to be hard-headed to reach hard-headed Israel. Ezekiel was called to preach in his own country to his own people, in his own language, to fellow Israelites, not to the Babylonians. And God explained that if he had sent him to minister to the Babylonian captors, they would listen. In other words, Israel was more hardened than the worst of the nations around them. Ezekiel was not to take it personally when his message from God was rejected. Israel's spiritual deafness was required over many years of turning away from his word. Regardless of their spiritual receptivity, Ezekiel is called to preach to the people of Judah. Here's our lesson. It will take some flint-heartedness to speak God's word today and overcome the many obstacles that come our way. Doubts and fears will attempt to cripple our message. Opposition both to God's message and God himself is to be expected. However, we have good news. Those prophets whom God calls and sends, he also equips and strengthens. Many of us remember times when a positive experience sweetened our lives in the midst of discouragement and doubt. We can easily become discouraged when obstacles prevent us from reaching our goals. But when we reflect on God's unfailing promises and the many examples he has presented in his word, we should be encouraged to walk through and even be carried through the hostile situations in our lives. Heavenly Father, Fill our hearts with what we truly desire, for who we truly seek is you.